Okay, so let's see how much you understand about triangles. And the question here is, what are the actual angles of this triangle? So let's go to take a look at this uh, figure. So obviously we have a triangle and this angle of the triangle is X degrees. And this angle over here is the same angle. It's X degrees. And this angle right here is two X degrees. Again, the question is what are the actual angles of this triangle? Feel free to use a calculator, but if you could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'll show you exactly how easy it is to solve this problem. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help with math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like, and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so pretty straightforward question here. So we are looking for uh, the three angles of this triangle. Remember this angle and this angle are the same angle and this angle here is double uh, these angles, okay, or one of these angles. So what are the angles? Let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer is 45 degrees, 45 degrees and 90 degrees. All right, now if you got this right, that is fantastic. We have to go ahead and give you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars. So you can tell your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert when it comes to solving basic triangle problems because you understand a key property of triangles and that is namely the sum of the angles in a triangle. In other words, if I add up this angle, this angle and this angle, or any three angles in a triangle, you're always gonna get 180 degrees. And of course, we're gonna use that key uh, fact in order to solve this problem. I'm also gonna be using some algebra as well, nothing too crazy, but if I would have said, use algebra to solve this problem, a lot of you would be like, algebra? I don't like using algebra. Uh, I'm gonna watch another video. So if you figure this out, just be kind of, you know, through or uh, use kind of maybe like a trial and error method, and you could have done that as well, but certainly you need to understand that the uh, total angles of a triangle, uh, the sum of the angles of any triangle is 180 degrees. But uh, nevertheless, I'm gonna use algebra. This is not gonna be advanced algebra. And if you don't understand what's going on, well, this is not gonna be that complicated. So let's go ahead and get started right now. Okay, so the key uh, thing that we need to first understand about a triangle, by the way, triangles are a huge topic in geometry. There is a lot to know about triangles, but one of the most basic things that you need to understand is that the sum of the angles in any triangle is equal to 180 degrees, okay? So this angle plus this angle plus this angle doesn't make a difference if you have a triangle like this, an obtuse triangle, or uh, an acute triangle, or a right triangle, doesn't make a difference. An ang this angle plus this angle plus this angle, you'll always get 180 degrees. And we can use that fact here to set up a lovely algebraic equation. This is gonna be so easy, you're gonna be like, wow, you're right, Mr. YouTube Math Man, this is an easy problem. So let's go ahead and use the fact that some of the angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So X plus this X plus this 2X is equal to 180 degrees. But we need to kind of write this as a nice algebraic equation. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So here is our triangle, we have X, plus x plus 2x, or we can just kind of go round robin, we could start here, x plus 2x plus this x will be equal to 180 degrees. So if we can solve for x, then we can figure out what the uh, actual angles are. All right, so again, we're gonna be using algebra to solve this basic equation. And if you didn't understand the setup here, maybe you wanna go ahead and pause the video and see if you can solve this basic equation. Not that difficult, so let's go ahead and do that right now. But first, let's have you quickly hit that subscribe button. I definitely need your support to make these videos. My objective is to reach as many people as I possibly can and help them with mathematics, okay? And the best way you can support this channel is to hit that subscribe button. And if you're gonna do that, hit that notification bell as well. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, I have well over uh, 2,500 YouTube uh, videos. I've been on YouTube for uh, 10 plus years, and I think I'm um, over like 82 million views, which is crazy. I have like 527,000, I mean, uh, 527,000 subscribers. I I'm very grateful for um, 
you know, the amount of uh, views and people that follow me on YouTube, you know, I feel like I'm doing my part to help uh, a, a trend that's not so good right now, and that is uh, math proficiency uh, globally, okay, is going down. That's not good, right? People need to understand math, so uh, especially as our dependence uh, on technology is going up, okay? So I'm trying to do my part, and if you enjoyed these videos, then you know what? Hit that subscribe button, and that really does help me out. Okay, so let's get back to this problem, and uh, again, now that we understand that the sum of the angles in any triangle is 180 degrees, we can just uh, basically um, set up a nice algebraic equation. We have x plus x plus this 2x is equal to 180. So let's solve for x, and this is not that difficult. This is what we call a basic linear equation. So I have 1x here. So when you see an x in algebra, you might be saying, well, there's no number in front of an x. Yes, there is a 1. So if I have 1x here, I have 2x right here, and I have another 1x here. In total, I have 1 plus 2 plus 1. I have 4x's over here. So I have 4x is equal to 180. So the uh, object here, or the objective, excuse me, is to solve for x. So all I have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 4. So 180 divided by 4 is 45. Now, if you don't understand this right here, I'm going to... Um, point you towards my math courses, uh, the links to my math courses. You'll find, well, actually, you'll find the links to my math courses, excuse me, in the description of this video. But in there, I have a ton of math courses, but my most common uh, or most popular math courses are pre-algebra, algebra 1, um, geometry, algebra 2, and uh, pre-calculus. I also have um, in uh, the description a course called Math Skills Rebuilder and Foundation. These courses are for those of you that are not math students, but maybe you're interested in relearning mathematics. The Math Skills uh, Rebuilder course, I teach you basic math, algebra, geometry, trigonometry. Uh, foundations course is just basic math. But if you are in algebra or geometry, you can check out my uh, respective algebra one course, geometry course, pre-algebra course, whatever you need to get more instruction on all these topics, i.e. how to solve an equation or try triangles, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so x is equal to 45, but we're not done yet, right? So what does that mean? Well, now that, now that we know that x is equal to 45, x is equal to 45 degrees, okay? So going back to our triangle, remember these angles here were x and x. These are the same angles. So these angles here are 45 degrees. So 45 plus 45 is 90 degrees. And if we subtract that away from 180 degrees, that is of course, going to be 90 degrees, but we can still figure that out by 2x or 2 times 45, which is 90 degrees, and it makes sense, right? So this is 90, 45, and 45. It all adds up to 180 degrees. All right, so this type of problem is very common in algebra and geometry, i.e. Uh, finding the angles of a triangle or a rectangle or some other uh, sort of quadrilateral. So, uh, you know, I guess the main point here, too, uh, for those of you that are going to be studying geometry uh, uh, to some degree or working with figures like, um, again, you know, polygons and whatnot, you do need to understand algebra, okay? So that's why in most uh, schools, you're going to be, uh, take like an algebra one. You're going to take a first-year algebra course typically before you get into any geometry. You need algebra and geometry. So if you're having a tough time uh, in geometry, make sure that you learn algebra well enough. You don't have to know everything, but you certainly need to know how to solve equations. Okay, so hopefully this video helps you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.